Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So dear children, we have already learned about the skeletal system and today we are going to learn about the muscular system. So first of all, let's see the learning objectives. The muscular system, connection between muscular and skeletal system, how do muscles work and types of muscles. As we know that our body have different bones which form the skeletal system. Dear children, do you think we can run on the ground and play by just using our bones? No, bones cannot move on their own. Bones need help from joints and muscles. Now let's see the connection between muscular and skeletal system. Without the support of muscles, it would not be possible to move the skeletal system and hence our body. We have more than 600 muscles in our body. Muscles are attached to the bones by tough fibrous connective tissues called tendons. Now let's see how do muscles work. The movement of bones takes place due to the contraction and relaxation of muscles. For example, when we pull our arms upward, the muscles on the front side of the upper arm contract and the muscle on the back side of the upper arm relax. And you can also feel the thickening of muscles on the front side of the upper arm. And these muscles are known as biceps. Now, when we stretch our arms downwards, the muscles on the front sides of the upper arm relax. And the ones on the back side of the upper arm contract. And you can also feel the thickening of these contracted muscles. These muscles are known as triceps. Thus, two muscles, biceps and triceps are needed to move the forearm. The biceps contract and shorten in length to move the forearm up. On the other hand, triceps contract and shorten in length to move the forearm down. Next is types of muscles. The muscular system is made up of different muscles. Based on their structure and functions, muscles can be further classified into three types. Voluntary or stripped muscles, involuntary or smooth muscles and third is cardiac muscles. Now let's have a look on them in detail. And first one is voluntary or stripped muscles. These muscles are attached to the bones and hence they are known as skeletal muscles. These muscles are under our control and so these muscles are also known as voluntary muscles. These muscles have strips on them and so they are known as stripped muscles. Next is involuntary or smooth muscles. These muscles do not have any strips. These muscles are found in the internal organs of our body such as esophagus, liver, stomach or intestine. These muscles are not under our control and so these muscles are known as involuntary muscles. For example, the muscles in the digestive system contract or relax on their own to allow food to pass easily. Involuntary muscles are controlled by the brain and spinal cord. Next is cardiac muscles. These muscles are found in the heart. These muscles are very strong and hence they do not get tired. Cardiac muscles are involuntary muscle. It means we cannot control the movement of these muscles and it keep working 24 hour a day throughout our lifetime. 
the powerful contraction and expansion of the cardiac muscles pump blood in and out of the heart. So dear children, here we complete our topic and if you get to know something new, then please like it and do subscribe my channel for more interesting videos.